good morning class 10th so here we are again with the another topic now that is now we will talk about the vegetative propagation that is another mode of reproduction in case of plants we will now today in uh, lecture we will talk about the plants that uh, how the plants they also uh, reproduce through the vegetative propagation there these vegetative propagation actually there is can be natural methods and there can be artificial methods natural is that a uh, few plant parts like uh, roots stem and leaves they have naturally to give rise to the new plant right that is with the natural method that we are not disturbing them anything we are just they are developing through their roots or through their stem they have capability to develop through their leaves naturally but here uh, like if uh, we want some specific characters in our plant then we can adopt the artificial methods also like grafting through cutting through layering i can make a new plant with my own or uh, desirable characters so vegetative propagation is actually uh, it's uh, can be through the root stem and leaves they have the capacity to develop into new plant but the appropriate condition that is the requirement first requirement if we say that why why what is the need what are the advantages of vegetative propagation plants uh, see plants which are raised or grow by vegetative propagation they all uh, they can have the flowers and fruits little bit earlier in time than those are produced from the seeds first advantage is that their earlier production of flowers and fruits then uh, there are few plants like banana orange rose jasmine plant those that have lost the uh, capacity to produce seeds those plants can be propagated those plants can be formed through the vegetative reproduction methods the main advantage is that there is no difference all the plants produced they will be genetically similar to the parent plant genetically means their genes genes for the flowers fruits they will be same to their parent plant so these are the main three advantages of vegetative reproduction now let's see one by one first we will see our natural methods of the vegetative reproduction that is like the leaf as very very famous example which is also mentioned in your ncrt that is the bryophyllum as you can see that uh, bryophyllum's leaf on the notches what is the notches actually these are the projected like the ending portion these are the notches so the on these notches there is the bud which is developing so these birds when they drop in the soil when they uh, just uh, get a uh, land on the soil they develop into new bryophyllum plant so it is naturally you are not dropping them so these birds which are developing in the notches so notches is basically you can say a side depression developing on notches so birds which are developing on notches they fall on the soil and develop into new plants just look at that is the original bryophyllum the original picture of bryophyllum where these uh, birds they are developing on these notches side of the leaves and these have the roots once they now fall on the soil they can give rise to new bryophyllum this is example of leaf vegetative reproduction by stem uh i hope that if you have ever observed the strawberry plant strawberry uh, in strawberry plants the runners or the stems that grow horizontally like this this is the strawberry plant and in this there is the horizontally developing stems the main plant is this right there is you cannot say that this is the main stem no this is the runner which is developing or you can say runners are actually uh, these are kind of stems which are developing horizontally but we call them as the runners in our plant physiology in plant morphology so runners are stems only but those stems which grow horizontally we are calling them as the runners above the ground little bit right they are growing above the ground and these have nodes as you can see 
they have small nodes on which birds are getting formed here birds are getting formed here birds are having uh, getting formed so on nodes birds are getting formed and these birds these birds they can grow into a new plant don't need to just uh, you need to rote learning for that what are runners these are the stems only but they are not the main stem they are growing just little bit above the horizontally manner right they are not going uh, uh, growing through the vertical manner they are growing like this so they have nodes like if you have to draw the uh, uh, diagram it is the main plant this is the vertical position but here we are cons our concentration in on this horizontal so this side stem or horizontal stem is known as runner from where it is growing it is growing from the bud of the main stem so here new bud will be developed new uh, then uh, there will be new bud will be developed what is this new bud will be developed on node so there will be another node two nodes ke beech mein jo area hota hai what is this called internode suppose let's draw a plant this is a one leaf there is another leaf there is another leaf so this portion is called internode and the area from where leaves are developed that is called your nodes or buds are developed that is called the node so here as you can see that after few days this from this bud a new plant will develop from the bud of the runner so this is the vegetative propagation by your stem or stem may what are you going to write that is the runner which are going growing horizontally and strawberry is the best example here vegetative reproduction by roots okay all of you have seen potatoes at your home right and potatoes just if you observe them very carefully there are few dark areas in your potato and these uh, better I, if i draw mark them with the black and these black black portions they are the very very important ones just keep them for a few days in the moist condition these small small they uh, brown structure will develop birds will start developing from this eyes and finally from bud new shoot roots they will start developing so these eyes they are the important structure of reproduction in case of potatoes so that is what potato is developing by the root so but in potato the storage part is what is do you think it is a stem no the storage part do you which you eat that is a root so new root new plants will grow out from the swollen modified roots which are called tubers basically potato tubers or you can say your sweet potato tubers so birds develop at the base of the stem and then grow into new plants as you can see that this is the stem portion and just at the base bilkul base pe there is a bud and from bud new shoot will be developed this swollen portion which we eat uh, especially in case of sweet potato as well as in case of potato these are called tubers and these are the swollen roots so this is the example of vegetative propagation by roots now let's talk about the artificial methods of reproduction vegetative reproduction or, or i will say vegetative propagation cuttings what are cuttings um try with the rose plant all of you i am sure that you have rose plant at your homes so you can very much try with that if you have an empty uh, you know the you have an empty pot you can try with the rose that cuttings are the part of plant that is cut off from the parent plant as you can see that this is a rose plant and it is the stem and this is node this is node and here below the node we are cutting at a proper angle that is usually 45 degree below the node why this angle is very specific because this is to uh, adjust for the formation of the new roots in the in case of the uh, new cuttings so shoots with the leaves small leaves very small leaves usually we use the young portion that attached are usually used 
roots young leaves new roots and leaves will grow from the cutting and shoot is usually that is a key point here that what why why we are cutting at a, uh, an angle shoot is usually cut at the 45 degree angle be, uh, below the node so as you can see this is our parent plant and i want that uh, uh, one more copy of this plant so we have cut it from the stem portion and this is uh, my node i uh, cut it with the blade or you can use scissor so these cuttings are now we have placed into the sand or the soil which is filled with your fertilizer compost is basically the fertilizer but and this is usually kept in the shaded area for till the growth of the roots as well as the leaves last uh, then there is the second last is the layering layering means layers something which is the forming the horizontally so a shoot of a parent plant is bent shoot kaun si select karte hain usually which is less flexible it is like a rubber rubber when you stretch it is it will be uh, stretch uh, then it will be long the moment you will leave it it will come back to its normal position so a shoot which will be very flexible jaise usko thoda sa bend karoge it will again go back so usually we use less flexible shoot and it is bent until it can be covered by soil like this our purpose is to bend our shoot and covered it in the soil the tip of the shoot should be uh, remains the tip of the shoot remains in the basically that ground shoot is held below the soil because our purpose is to form the roots so tip of the shoot has to be in the soil new roots new plant will start growing after few days and this new plant can be separated then from the parent plant one thing that why it is uh, different from the runner see um, in this we are artificially doing this we are keeping we are bending one stem taking one stem and just bending it in the soil and covering it with the soil and we have put a clamp or you can say peg so that ye wala jo portion hai ye dobara wapas कॉयल नहीं कर रहे सो दिस इज अवर पेरेंट प्लांट एंड शूट्स दे आर हेल्ड बिलो द सॉइल आफ्टर फ्यू डेज यू कैन ऑब्जर्व दैट रूट स्टार्टेड डिवेलपिंग एंड न्यू प्लांट विल बी फॉर्म नाउ यू कैन कट द प्लांट फ्रॉम हेयर एंड दिस मच पोर्शन ऑफ प्लांट कैन बी ग्रो इन टू द न्यू पॉट एंड वट इज दिस मैथड ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल मैथड दैट इज द लेयरिंग दास्ट वन इज ग्राफ्टिंग नाउ सी आई हैव टू पॉट्स दैट इज द white roses as well as the red roses but i want now pink roses that okay i want pink roses what is the best method for their propagation that is the grafting two plants are used to develop a new plant with the combined characters i want to make red and white together as the pink from the using two parent plants parent plant yahan pe kaun sa ho gaya red as well as a uh, white rose plant they will be your parent plant one thing in grafting is not that much easy two things we usually talk about in grafting that is shion and stalk the above ground part of the plant is shion if you are using the lower part of the plant that is called the stalk it is attached to the it is attached to the stalk or uh, which is rooted part of the basically uh, what is stalk it is the rooted part of the second plant it is uh, you, you can say that root portion this is the stem portion upper portion and this is the root portion of the plant so what this is suppose this is my red rose and these are my white roses so i am using the root of white roses that will be called as stalk right uh, that is what we said that stalk is the rooted part of the plant and red rose i am using is stem portion this is called the shion so now i have to put it into this so i will cut it at a particular angle and made a place to fit this shion into the stalk like this and then i will cover it with the band so after few days uh, you will observe that new 
roots start developing after the few days and new plant with the new characters can be developed so these are the methods of vegetative propagation through cutting grafting layering as well as through the natural method so here we are almost we are finished with our asexual method of reproduction so next we will meet with the another lecture that will be on our sexual reproduction till then all of you take care of your health and have a 